Hi, in this video we are going to see how we will add USB devices into Securid Endpoint Security Cloud. For that, log in to your Securid Endpoint Security Cloud, come to the configuration setting. In that, you can see device control option. Click on that. Once you click on device control, it will provide you two options to add devices. One is add USB devices or add USB by model. If you have a USB device connected into your system and you want to authorize that into device control setting, you can use the first option. If you want to add USB by model so that the model will be allowed for all uh, systems in your network. So you can use second option. So let's start with the first one. So I'm using USB devices and it is asking us for device control file. How we will generate this file? To generate this file, we have to download one package first. Click on this download option. Click here to download that package that is devctrl.zip file is device control zip file you can go to uh, that uh, zip file to extract it once you extracted it let's extract it so as i have one uh, extractor folder i just replaced it now and uh, let me open that and inside that you can see dcc config.exe just run that and it is asking us to click on retrieve to collect the device information, click on retrieve. It is collecting the serial number, manufacturer, size, etc. Add the device name there. I'm adding test. And it is providing as an option that is make this device accessible only within your corporate network. If you enable this option, your pen drive or USB device will be encrypted so that it will be available to use only in your enterprise network, not out of that. Now I'm not enabling it anyhow. And let's go ahead to save to file. And it is giving me a file dcinfo.json. And I am saving that file uh, to the same folder. You can uh, save to in location. I'm saving the same folder that is dcinfo.json. So I have saved that file. Now I need to copy that file into this uh, option. Let's go to download device control dcinfo.json open it and scroll down here click on add option so this will add that specific pen drive or usb device into our device control authorization module this is method number one let's see method number two go to usb by models it's again providing us option to add device name model name etc to collect uh, the model name how we will retrieve it? Let's execute the command ms info 32 in your system and go to components. And here you can see storage. In storage, you can come to disk. And in disk, the primary one will be your fixed drive. And scroll down. This is your uh, external device connected. That is the USB device of SanDisk. And the model, this is the model it is uh, showing over here. And you can select that. You can uh, copy it from here and go to the console. Uh, and you can paste that model name over here. So this is the model name and uh, the device uh, name. That can be anything. You can add a test device over here and you can click on add option. So this is how uh, you are adding the device and now the device is already authorized over here. So it's not accepting or else it will be getting added into this device. So if you just want to see that, let me uh, remove that device from here and uh, we can uh, again add the same. So let's go to uh, add device again, USB by model and again test device and USB my model and copying the model name and clicking on add option. Now it's successfully got added. This is how we are adding USB devices into device control module of Securite Endpoint Security Cloud. 
Hope it's clear. Thanks for watching this video.